Welcome back. In this video, we continue our exploration of the three overarching concepts evolution, behavior, and sustainability. And here we want to focus on the idea or the concept of behavior, particularly human behavior. What is actually behavior? And as so often with words and context concepts, behavior is one of those concepts that we actually use and refer to almost every day in our language. Yet when it comes to defining and describing it, we might quickly realize that we are not so sure or we don't agree among us what behavior actually is and what it is not. In fact, we, as we will see, even scientists don't really agree what behavior is and is not. One way to approach our understanding of a concept like behavior is to explore um, things that we would consider examples of the concept and things that we would consider not examples of the concept. Uh, doing this helps us to identify kind of the boundaries of the concept or the characteristics that we consider that help define the concept. So in the module, we have an activity like this where we can first think about what do we consider some examples of behavior, things that are not examples of behavior, whatever they might be, and maybe also things, examples that where we are not so sure whether we can consider them an example of behavior or not. Here is a collection of different kinds of um, examples, which we can use to sort them into these three areas. Things like going for a walk. This might be one where we, most of us would agree that this is an example of a behavior, but maybe things like dreaming, uh, there some people might agree or disagree or puberty or um, yeah, being stressed and so on or cancer. These are all just some different kinds of things that help us to really approach our understanding of what behavior actually is. Here's also an online sorting activity that you can um, look at and make a copy here. Here's just an example of how you might be sorting these different um, yeah, examples. Again, there might be some where it's more or less clear and there might be a lot of agreement amongst ourselves about whether they are behavior or not. Then there's other things where we might be more or less agreeing. They are not examples of behavior like cancer, puberty, getting gray hair. It's just maybe something that we consider that just happens to our body. And then there might be also things where we're not so sure whether they can be counted as behavior, like something like feeling hungry. And during the sorting activity, certain questions might have come up um, to you and in your, in your group. For example, our thoughts and feelings and other things that seem to happen inside of us without any body movement, can we count them as behaviors? Is kind of doing nothing yeah, sitting still, not moving, is that also a behavior? Is stuff that happens to our body, such as injuries, disease, developmental changes, heartbeat, and so on, are those behaviors or, or not? And there may be another question, are things that groups of people do, like an election, a protest, a religion, science, and so on, are those also behavior? Now, the thing is that these authors have in fact asked more than 170 behavioral biologists to do a similar activity. That is, they were to rate on a range of examples whether they consider them examples of behavior or not, or if they are not so sure. And what the results of this interesting study tell us is that really among the behavioral biologists, there's also not that much agreement about what actually counts as a behavior. There are some things where there was most agreement, like a spider builds a web, flocks of geese fly in V formations, that had a lot of agreement among the participants, but then many other examples, there was really not a whole lot of agreement among the biologists. So even among behavioral biologists, there's no agreement really about what counts as behavior, because no example really got 100% agreement by the group, and also no example got 100% this or 0% agreement. 
Then what the authors of this study did was also present a range of statements to which then the scientists had to rate whether they agree with the statement to define behavior. And again, there we also find there was no real agreement about what are the attributes that define uh, behavior. These here got the most agreement. And so this is one way to maybe build a definition of behavior. For example, it does not include developmental changes such as puberty or getting gray hair. It's something that whole individuals do, not organs or parts of individuals, meaning like not the heartbeat. But again, there it kind of gets tricky because um, certainly the arm is a part of an individual or the brain. So thoughts and so on. Is that now part of behavior or not? Is unclear uh, and so on. But there are still some disagreements and challenges, of course. One kind of disagreement or challenge is to, to think about whether things like thinking, feeling, sensations are types of behavior. And this is, in fact, an important aspect on which scientists disagree. Some behavioral biologists think that behavior is just all the things that we can see organisms do with their body in interaction with the environment. And so what is going on inside, like any feelings or stuff like this, especially for humans, feelings, uh, thoughts, memories, that should not be part of behavior. Meaning internal processes in the body, they happen, you know, they're just things that will influence actual behavior. So it's just about what can we see organisms do on the outside. But on the other hand, many psychologists and behavioral scientists, especially those that are interested in human behavior, think of behavior as also including the things that the bodies and brains of organisms do, which others can't see. So especially for humans, that includes the thoughts, memories, feelings, sensations, dreams, preferences and goals that we experience and do inside of us. Sometimes these kinds of inside behaviors are also called covert behaviors, meaning they are covered or secret, secret and not visible to others compared to the overt behaviors that are public and visible. And of course, these inner behaviors and the outer behaviors of organisms influence each other. Now, why might it be good, a good idea to consider our inner stuff, inner behaviors also as behaviors instead of outside of the concept of behaviors. You can think about this for yourself for a minute if you want. How would you answer this question? Here are some ideas why we think it's helpful, especially for in education for sustainable development and to help us uh, improve well-being and sustainability. So. One important component is that our inner behaviors, in fact, share some important features with our outer behaviors. They develop throughout our lifetimes through learning. So meaning we learn to think, to notice certain things, to feel, just as we learn to walk, speak, and many other outer behaviors. And this can be important for us to understand where do our inner behaviors actually come from, to understand their causes. Furthermore, we can help us, they can help us understand that they are more or less automatic or consciously controllable. Our inner behaviors just as much as our outer behaviors are. And again, this can help us to be more aware of the causes of our thoughts and feelings. Some more reasons. Even though our inner behavior is not visible to others, it is often visible or noticeable to us. We are certainly often, but also not always, aware of how we feel, how we think. And this is something that is very important and constantly ongoing and determines our experience and well-being. Even though inner behavior is not visible to others, we certainly are spending a lot of time thinking about, wondering, predicting, assuming what is going on in other people's minds, even though we can, we might see people just sitting around or seemingly not doing anything, we're still wondering they must be doing something, there must be going on in their something going on in their heads and so on. Um, psychologists sometimes also call this behavior of us wondering and trying to predict what other people are thinking and feeling theory of mind. And so 
if we can use behavioral science to better help us take perspective uh, about what other people are thinking and feeling and experiencing, that can be helpful. And finally, especially human inner behavior is so complex and dynamic, and it is just so much part of our everyday experience that it is important to explore and understand it through the concepts of behavioral science. And so, therefore, if we include human inner behavior as part of the concept of behavior, we can use the tools, the method, the concepts of behavioral science to better understand it and ultimately also change it. And so this is why in this module we will spend some time exploring a range of inner behaviors of us humans and especially how they might impact human outer behavior, well-being and sustainability in the sustainability and our mind unit of the module. Now as an, another little comment that scientists are also not so sure where the boundary of behavior is with res respect to all the things that our body and brain does. It seems to be rather fuzzy. For example, physiological things like sweating, heartbeat, digestions. Many agree that they're not in, in itself behaviors, but then our responses to those would be behaviors. And that might include our outer and inner responses. So for example, um, we notice where our heart is beating fast, so we start to do something or think something in response to this. We might be starting to notice them, and so that in itself, some people would consider a behavior the mere act of noticing, being aware of something. And we might start to feel or think uh, in different ways about these things that are happening to our body. So instead of hard boundaries between body, behavior, brain, it can be better to think about these as quite fluid and, and fuzzy and integrated, constantly interacting. But it can still be helpful to create these categories so we can just think about them better. Mm -hmm.